Thanks for the opportunity to be here. So what I'm going to show you today is something that I call rhombofoam. It's a, a topological model of foam or soap bubbles. Um, it's topological simply because uh, there's no physical properties here. There's no energy min minimization that's driving the geometry. But it does have the right uh, cardinality. So we have three cells around an edge and four cells around a vertex. Um, incidentally, you can make this, this foam model with Zome tool. So uh, we're looking at uh, the first of four different forms this comes in. This is the simplest form, but it's also really the nicest to look at. Uh, partly because it's uh, periodic in three dimensions, so three directions rather. So there are three axes of translational symmetry, as you can see. And we see these lovely uh, columns of dodecahedra marching off into the distance. Uh, so that's the first form. Bear with me while I hop through. Here's the second form, or the second allotrope. Uh, we still have two axes of translational symmetry here. We're looking down one again, so we see our lovely columns. If I go this way, I will see the second axis. But as you can see by the zigzagging character here, as we go from right to left, the third axis is not there, so it gets a bit cluttered if we go in that direction. The third, uh, third form here, we only have one axis of translational symmetry rem remaining, and we are looking down it again. Um, now you might notice we have a center of five-fold symmetry. Um, we have no other translation, so if I, look, if I look off the axis, I don't get those pretty tunnels unless I'm at the edges of my, my projection here. Uh, this, by the way, this five-fold symmetry center doesn't violate the crystallographic uh, restriction theorem since you are allowed one center in all of the universe for five-fold or other symmetries. Now the fourth form is here. This is really the most interesting but the least pretty to look at. Here we have full icosahedral symmetry, one center again in the whole universe. No translational symmetry at all. We do still have some tunnels, but they all go through the center. So if I'm looking down one of those six axes of symmetry of the, uh, the five-fold symmetry from the dodecahedron in the center, then I do get to see my beautiful tunnels. So let's talk about what makes rhombofoam work. Well, the clue is in the name. It's uh, made from a golden rhombohedral, golden rhombohedral unit cell. And so we get all these beautiful forms of space filling just from the way that the, the golden rhombohedron can fill space. So we obviously have the simple period, periodic form, just a simple lattice. We have kind of a sandwich uh, approach where we can make uh, these alternating, alternating layers with different orientation. And by the way, you could, there's, there's a countably infinite number of ways to do this. As you can see, you can, you can go any number of layers before you switch direction. And then the third form is our, is our five-fold symmetry. And the fourth form is the icosahedral symmetry. So um, let's see how the, the unit cell works. Uh, curiously enough, I, I found this looking at the, the, uh, the well-known 120 cell projection in zone tool. So if I take just a couple of the, the central cells and um, actually take three of the, the outer layer there, I notice that on these, these highlighted uh, pentagons, I can add the regular dodecahedra again. And if I join up the centers of my dodecahedra, I have that nice uh, form of three red lines, which of course can be continued. Oops to complete the rhombohedral cell. Oh, I skipped over. If I, and of course, obviously I have to fill in the dodecahedra around the, the, the remaining vertices and the edges. So this is the, what I think of as the unit cell. Um, but of course, in actuality, the unit cell is only those, thing, those parts that are inside the rhombohedron. If I take away everything outside the rhombohedron, um, it looks like I've lost my dodecahedra. But in fact, of course, they're, they're still there in all the edges remaining. What I, what I see instead is these two interesting central cells. They are 16-sided. They want to have tetrahedral symmetry, but they don't. So they are, there are uh, five, uh, sorry, there are 12 pentagons on each and four hexagons. On each one of them, one of the hexagons is skewed in the center, as you can see. So where have our 
dodecahedra gone. One of the regular, the one regular dodecahedron is distributed around the, the vertices of the figure. And three of the squash dodecahedra are distributed around the edges of the figure. So, of course, it's this character that the, the dodecahedra all will combine correctly when, no matter how you tile these rhombohedra, as long as you tile them in one of the ways that rhombohedra tile space, you will get back your dodecahedra and you'll get back these beautiful tunnels. There is an alternate form. If you're willing to give up the five-fold symmetry and, uh, and use a, a non-golden rhombohedron, you can actually recover tetrahedral symmetry. So this is a form it obviously can't be made with regular zone tool, but it does have now only one kind of dodecahedral cell. They're all equivalent. And one kind of 16-sided uh, cell. And in this form, the 16-sided cell itself does have true tetrahedral symmetry. So we've got essentially a diamond lattice um, symmetry going on here. So that's what I have to show you. Um, I will be leading a, uh, a build, team build on Saturday to build a portion of the, one of these forms. So uh, I welcome you to come and join us and, and build something beautiful.